y'all welcome back to my channel today i am back from having a baby I'm back from having surgery i'm not fully healed but we're working on that but regardless i am going to start putting out more videos and today i am here to review the new laura lee La or not the new the laura lee los angeles palette uh caps pajamas there's the beautiful laura lee lover i aspire to be this beautiful in my everyday life anyways um, when I heard Laura was releasing her, releasing her palette, I got so freaking stoked because I absolutely love her. I know y'all heard me say that several times before, but I genuinely do love her. Um, she's just so sweet. She's from Alabama, so she talks like me. Um, she says stuff that I say, and I just, it's who I love. So, um, the palette looks a lot like this. Not a lot, it is this. Um, the packaging, I mean, can we talk about how, like, when I seen that this is what it looked like, how freaking sparkly and stuff, I was like, mm-hmm, got to have it. Then I seen the colors, ba-bam, ba-bam. This is not only the perfect fall palette, it's just a perfect palette just, like, to have in general. There's, believe it or not, there are so many looks that you can make with this palette with just these colors. Like, these are must-have colors for every collection. And y'all do apologize. Um, every year they cut the fields around my house and I get like this stank ass cold. So I sound atrocious and I do apologize. But, I mean, I can't help. I live in the darn country and there's crops all around me. I love our farmers. Me wrong. I love our farmers. I'm thankful for our farmers. I'm thankful for our truckers. But, I hate that y'all get me sick because I can literally see the dust and junk that I'm inhaling. Thank you. Thanks for that, guys. So, in sight of the Cat's Pajamas palette, I'm rocking some of the Lordly merch that you can find at lordlylosangeles.com. No, I'm not sponsored. I wish. Hey, Laura, girl, send me some stuff. Just kidding. Um, so, we got the queen hat. Super cute. Adjustable. Ooh, hat hair. Adjustable in the back. That hides up underneath in the seam. And then we have the cute gimmicky shirt which Laura Lee says all the time when she reviews like weird stuff she'll be like mm, y'all it's gimmicky so I just love it thought it was cute um so yeah it fits amazing it feels amazing today all I have done is I have my normal base done um I'm gonna stop waving the unicorn around like a weirdo um all I have is my base done and I have primed my eyelids with my MAC painterly pot so we can save us a little bit of time um I don't really know what kind of look I'm going to be going for today, but I'm just going to swatch some of the shades for you guys. So we'll do Scatterbrain, which is a gold right here. Um, we Oh, I guess I got to show y'all. Well, it's kind of hard to see there. Scatterbrain, a pretty gold color. Um, we will do Cray Cray. These are pigmented, y'all. Pigmented. She pigmented. Um, we'll go into Redonculus, which is a beautiful bronze shade. Now, I have noticed in um, swatching some of these already because um, there's Redonculus. Um, we'll go into Quirky. There's quirky. I'm so bad at, it's really not that I'm bad at swatches. It's when I turn my darn wrist, it gets wonky. I don't know. I don't, ugh. I don't know. Um, and then we'll go into another matte shade. We'll go into kooky. I'll just do this. I jacked that up with my nail, but look at how gorge. I mean, these are just in one ear. Deal. Oh my god. Lord Lay, honey, you was not playing. And then here's out the other. And then we'll go into oddball. And I'll be done with the swatches, which 
Might as well swatch them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I, hell, I might as well go ahead and swatch the other two shit. And wipe off my fingers. With a handy dandy make you a wipe. We'll go into bomb diggity. Beautiful transition shade. And then we will go into, let's see, I'm going to do it. Oh, okie dokie. Which she even said that okie dokie is just meant to be a light, um, bone white shade, which it's not that light. It's actually pretty freaking pigmented itself. But she said building it up, you can get a lot of color payoff, but um, it's also meant to be just a subtle um, base color. So. I've taken the liberty of cleaning my makeup brushes for you guys. Alright, and so I'm just going to set my um, eyes with the Bomb Diggity shade, I think. Oh, highlight. Okie dokie. See, you listen to me. Already lying. Jesus, guys. Jesus. Um, just set those like so. Alright, and then I really don't know what kind of look I want to do today. Hmm. Well, we're going to go, going to go, Jesus, I can't even talk today, y'all. Going to go into uh, Bomb Diggity right here, and there is a little bit of fallout, but I don't mind fallout if there's color payoff, and ooh we is there. Sorry, y'all. I'm probably going to sniffle like 500 times this whole video. This is blending into this so nice. Alright. Um, let's go into Cray Cray. Just to build this up a little bit, deepen it in. I'm gonna focus this into the crease. Yeah, I am seeing some kickback with these shades, but like I said, it's not a bad thing if there's color payoff, and they're definitely is color pay off all right um let's go into a smidget of cooking and I am taking all this on the same brush and this is an R39 which is just hmm now that I'm stuttering some, which is just a good uh, blending brush. Just to give this a little bit of this used up color. Let me just a little bit of kooky off of it. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Alright, and now we're going to take one of the, um, one of the, uh, I think we're going to go into Redonkulous. I'm really, like, digging this gold. Well, it's not a gold. It's a bronzy color. And, um, as with any, um, shimmer shadow, which there's a lot of shimmers in here. I think there's one, two, three, four, five. So, half the palette is shimmer. Half of it is matte. Um, and as you can see, there is nice color payoff with her shimmers, but, um, even Laura will say this, to get the most out of it, you'll want to wet your, mm. you'll want to wet, <laughs> you will want to wet your brush, dang, with um, some setting spray, uh, I always use Fix Plus for this, and then we're just going to go in, and oh, well, hello there, darling. 
heck you can always just do a cut crease just like this. I'm not doing a cut crease today, by the way. I am going to blend this all out just because I'm not doing a cut crease. But God, that just made that like melt into my skin. All right. And then just to blend that seam out, I'm going to go in with a smidget more of Kooky. Tap off excess and just blend those two together. So there's not just like a weird seam there. All right. And then I'm going to dip into a little bit of um oddball which is the black shade just to deepen in the edges of the hem because I've gotten to where I can't like not put black shadow on I just love it I think it I don't know alright and then I'm going to go into um, Kooky on a M168 and just on the lower lash line. Add that in. And then I'm going to take a little bit of oddball and put on this outer corner. That's that with a clean blender. Just gonna blend those together. And then on a clean, um, the same thing, the M68 going to dip into scatterbrain and add an inner whoop can I know y'all can see me an inner corner highlight And I'm going to highlight the brow bone. Mm, mm, mm. Mercy, mercy. Alright, now I'm going to go off camera to finish the other eye. And I'll be back with um, my final thoughts, suggestions on the palette. Be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this palette. I think that it is some of the um, best eyeshadows that I have, to be very, very honest. Um, that next to my um, Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, um, they are the best palettes that I have. Not to say that my other eyeshadow palettes aren't great, but just the blendability of these shadows, um, the buildability of these shadows, and just the color payoff, you can't beat it. Um, this palette was $40. I know that it is sold out. I know that she has said that she's going to try to have it restocked by Christmas. She doesn't know yet. They've placed an order though. But this will be a, a permanent part of her line. So it's not like a limited edition palette where you'll only be able to get it for a certain amount of time. But um, I love the palette. I love Laura Lee. I think that um, if you're wanting a great just not even a great fall palette just a great palette to own um i definitely think this one is well worth the money um so yeah i'm very happy and excited that i have it but on another note i hope that you enjoyed this review i hope that you enjoy my channel and uh stay tuned to my next video because there is going to be a little giveaway um which i'm very very excited about so hope you all have a great day night evening 
afternoon, whatever, wherever you are. And thanks so much for watching.